The reason I like this Monkey King, on top of the fact that it is one of Tomato's more favorite picks, though usually when I see a Monkey King, it's not first phased like this, because other regions pick it usually position four. Or not position four. God, position four monkey was terrible when that was the case. Um, Baba usually King. in the fourth pick, you would end up taking the Monkey King because it was like you. It was one of the better heroes against a lot of the melee based mids. Being the DK at one point in time had trouble with it. I was gonna say Razor, but I forgot that Razor's literally picked two verses of Monkey King. Um, Your DK Ember Spirit Kunkka Void Spirit is one that also usually has a little bit of issues with it. But I think with this Void Spirit picked up now, this gives them Und Undying gives gets the flexibility. Of being like, okay, this could be a mid void, it could be off void, this could be mid monkey, this could be safe monkey, this could be off lane bird or four bird. I highly doubt it's off lane bird though. Well, and you kind of see in Undying bands as well that they don't fear like let's say the Viper or something, because if, if you pick Alk Viper, someone's unhappy in that situation. You know what I mean? And getting the Void Spirit again, I mean, Brow's never not going to be happy to play Void Spirit. He's got that rank 2 energy, you know, where you give him Void Spirit, he owns, he just does things, gets the Ags, that supports on the enemy team can't play. And that's something I think Eagle Boys really need to refine from their previous draft, where they need to get off lane. They need to get an off laner in a forward that can really put impact on the mid lane more so than the, the previous game did, you know, with the Marana pick. And I'm, I'm guessing that's what they're thinking about right now. Because the, what, Nyx is banned. They've been running Shaman. They've been running some other heroes. They go with the Spirit. I'm a big fan of, actually, the Earth Spirit. It's one of my more favorite position fours to watch. Uh, I cannot play Earth Spirit for the life of me myself. <laughs> yes. So I love watching Earth Spirit play off in a lot of these games because it's it's just it's a it's a big favorite. You see a lot of crazy plays come out from a good Earth Spirit player. And that's the thing about Earth Spirit, too. You don't pick Earth Spirit if you're not good at Earth Spirit. You pick Earth Spirit because you know how to use the hero. It, like The Precisely. next closest thing I like to compare to other position fours that are remotely close to Earth Spirit's like kill potential roaming as position four would be the Tusk. Is usually one of the other best responses. That's the Earth mm -hmm. Spirit. Like four equilibrium that can like match it more or less oh and undying pick Duba hero number i think that's Duba hero number three it's dm Eng, undying witch doctor i guess that's four but he always plays those heroes he's gonna make the off laner really miserable now gonna help tomato win his lane and ego boys again they're spending a lot of time they want to i think solidify their draft and I'm trying to think if here's the tie. A lot of offlaners are already knocked out. And again, Undying are last picking their offlaner because they're picking these cores up so early with their confidence that, I don't know, that's literally going to be like nine offlaners banned in this game, I feel like. And what does that leave us with? I mean... <laughs> what does that weave us with? Haha. <laughs> ah. No. Don't. It's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Weaver is not going to be in this game. There's a lot of good stuff that could go up against the Weaver, so... They saw it last game, too. Oh, the Beastmaster. Okay. All right. Here we go. I like Beastmaster a lot here in this game as well, because now Alchemist doesn't really have to rely. Well, I don't want to say he doesn't have to rely on getting good concoctions, but like this is a great playmaker for Ego. This also cements that this is going to be then the four or spirit and the five Enchantress, because now the Beastmaster is going to be able to have this double rotating capability very early into game. Uh... I remember a long time ago, though, Beastmaster builds was you didn't build the full Necronomicon, and you actually went like Blink Dagger Shadow Blade. Likely not going to see that build in this game, but I would like to see at least some sort of mobility item after Beastmaster gets the, the, the Necronomicon, because Monkey King is going to be able to just jump around Beastmaster, and Void Spirit's able to jump around Beastmaster. Like very well, that's effectively. Something in this game. you uh you gotta be careful of if you're monkey. There's a lot of uh tree cutting things in this game. The the pole cuts the trees, the axes cut the trees, the egg cuts the trees. But Undying's team fight is quite scary. At the same time, I think with the Beastmaster, as opposed to like the life strike of the previous game, their pickoff potential is much, much, much higher. And Beastmaster is also one of those heroes where you just stick the, the boar onto uh Anyone. Onto Dubu. <laughs> He's going to have a lot of trouble in lane. It's a little bit harder for him to run it down. They go for the wind. 
Okay. So I've been seeing a lot of Windy kind of come back. In fact, the last game, I believe Windy was in the first phase ban over the Marana. Yes, it was. So leaving it open like this, it must have been an ego-specific hero that they like in particular because Undying... No, because Undying banned the same two things in the beginning phase. And the Death Prophet being banned again in the same phase. I believe phase. Ego Boys banned the wind. They banned, like, GP Okay, so then wind. they did the mirror match for banning uh, in comparison then. Because then Ego Boys did the Nyx and Puck ban last game. And this game it swapped with Undying doing the Nyx and Puck ban. Well, and they picked Moon Mia in their timber. I mean, I don't know. This is rough, I feel like, if you are the Ego Boys now. Because... Timbersaw is just such a strong hero. He's one of the few heroes that's actually going to be able to play. And wait, I guess Alk is going to be your safe laner. He's going to be laning versus a Timbersaw. Mm. That's this is going to be a little rough. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one, Chief. Uh, I have to say that like the Moon Meander Timbersaw is like honestly a very uncontested pick in this game. Like Windy doesn't do that much early against him. I mean, eventually you'll get the Monkey King bar and you could focus fire and that would kill off Moon Meander and... I mean, you could just see Ego Boy's heroes. It's all big physical team fight damage. So well, this Moon Meander uh... Timber is going to be relatively uncontested. And then, of course, there's the Undying dropping Tombstone. That's going to be so weird, actually. Undying yeah. and Undying game. And I think, what's it called? Something they really need to do a lot better on Ego Boys is make sure that Kari gets his camps. Like, I, I really want them to stack their heroes up in the safe lane as opposed to, you know, mo most teams just stack their heroes in the off lane and then they TP the five. But Kara not able to get his camps in the previous game for the first uh, one to two minutes just because they were body blocking or they had wards up already. He had to buy two sentries for his camps. And I really was only seeing the creeps put pressure at like four minutes into the game, and it's just too slow. And if you give the timber that much ground, I think this Alk is really going to start to suffer. That's that's a lot of wins. Oh, I wish I had that many wins. <laughs> I think I'm sitting at like 800. Always on the grind. I mean, there's only one way to get better at Dota, and that is to keep failing until you have a level 25, now level 30, actually. Uh, on your favorite Dota 2 hero. That, that is quite powerful. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the level 30 is for Skyrath. I just know the level 25 is the best line in all of Dota 2. Or, no, oh. it's not. The Oracle Oracle's, one is kind of good. Oracle's one is pretty... <laughs> yeah, Oracle's yeah. one is, is dark as hell, but it is, like, probably the best one, actually, it's, now that I think about it. Like, yeah, I, I understand it. It keeps it in character, but I feel like it really comes from nowhere. Yeah, it's... It's dark. That's just straight up as it is it, oh, it doesn't feel like it's on? right yeah monkey king walking up the hill as this courier here he doesn't have a very scary position there but he's actually a really tiny courier it probably was a little bit difficult to target him well and this, this is what is one i wanted of my favorite couriers too and they're gonna smoke into the triangle this is a little bit crazy if they get the pop on the mischief He's in the pit. Ooh, he's in the pit. They know Ooh. he's in there. <laughs> they can't they got him. him. They're Dude, not clicking they're, him. What? They're trying okay. to click him. They can't get him. But Tomato, he turns around. They'll throw out the bounce strike. Got but him. they've got it. They do. They just wanted to get everybody lined up to get that kill. And Rises is the one to confirm it. I really want to ask Tomato oh, after Kara? this game if... Or I want to ask A-Team. Or A-Team. I want to ask Ego after this game if, uh, if they actually just couldn't click on him. They, they were all clicking around him. They're all kind of, they knew what was going on. I'm I'm just so curious, to be honest. It's just, I, it's a tiny courier though. But either way, first blood does get drawn. It does go to Rises. You don't really want to be giving an alchemist farm at the very beginning of the game. And they're actually aggroing. Oh yeah. They're going to do body blocks for these creeps. There's two in the mid for the time, but I mean, I think Alk, Alk's one of those heroes where it's like, oh, he went, he went, uh, Acid one. The Q, yeah. So I think that was for the confirm on the team fight there. But, I mean, we're try laning this bad boy. And that's really the only way that Rises is going to get this going. Dismar going out for a roll, unable to find a latch. Yeah, he was trying to get the the last on the range creep, but he's just a second off. And even though they got kind of that cute smoke play kill, they don't have a small camp. These camps aren't spawning. And that's going to be a big problem for Kara because that's the strength of this hero. And when he's not going to be able to find any creeps, it's going to be really unfortunate. Most people are getting Acid Spray level 1, though, just because Whoa. it is helps you get a little bit of the wave. Tomato. Tomato. 
I mean, this is the only downside on top of the fact that, like, there is no creeps for Kara to work with. Uh, if you are fighting in the acid spray, you are dead in the acid spray. Because you yeah. can see how quickly Tomato's HP just dropped alone. And sure, it's you don't really expect a lot of alchemists to go for that very early. But to get the first blood, it was kind of necessary. At least he didn't go concoction. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the mid, mid Brawl alone. does get power shot straight to the face. I got it just in time. I saw the yeah. arrow whiz through, and there's our little bouquet of flowers. I don't and know I mean, why they didn't a, make that to where that stayed, like the flame. PA one. <laughs> it's so a rough cool. lane for Bro. He's just going to continue to get right-clicked. And now, I mean, giving up the first blood alone is going to have even more power shots to work with. This isn't, this isn't an easy lane. Well, Tomato's courier does get clipped up in the top lane in the meantime. But you are right. This is not an easy lane for Bryo in any way, shape, or form. Because it's uh, all the big damage comes from power shot alone. <laughs> and at the same time, just they're just terrible. continuing to nuke out the top wave, kind of pushing into Tomato. And he's kind of suffering for levels. Of it. And he's just splitting it now with Saberlight. I just realized Saberlight's on the, the Phoenix this game. Because Moon Mander's on that uh on that signature timber saw. And he got a kill. Yeah, he solo get killed. This solo kill on Tano down here. I mean, they do have the Undying that's hanging around in the jungle here, maybe trying to get some pulls off. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's the power of the Timber Saw. Sure that the Beastmaster Boar can click into Moon Meander consistently to just slow him down. But, I mean, he actually doesn't even have Timber Chain. Like, I thought he yeah. was going Timber Chain and he got the kill with that one. But he just walked at him. And it's the the percentage, you know, you're missing strength, you're missing attribute. And I think Tano just didn't see it coming. And even with the boar just a clicked on him, I mean, Moomiander kind of wants it. It just keeps his stacks always at 12. You're, this is a, a lane that you're always going to lose, I think, if you're Tano. And I'm surprised that they're not making a swap because Moomiander is going to kind of walk away, I think, with the, at this lane at this point. I mean, Tano was really getting just clicked. You could see it too, just uh, with the oh, consistent top. pressure back up and top, like your bird. Bird, see the bird's very low up here. <laughs> Looks like Rises was actually... They wanted to try to confirm the last hit on there. What happened? I didn't see all of it. Petey kicked him out of the dive. Oh, he kicked him in dive? He kicked him out of the dive. He just stomped on the bird. That's cheating. 100%. <laughs> you kick him out of dive. That's ridiculous. <laughs> he took two tower shots as well. That was just picture perfect from Dismar. Well, but with of, four minutes, they're going to make the rotation for the runes. Yep, I was going to say, speaking of Pitcher Perfect, he is going to rotate mid to confirm the rune, while alone does put some very strong damage on the Bryo, and yet again, Monkey King's Courier does get clipped, and Saber Light will find the regen Light. rune. So it's just straightforward. No one's able to get this one, but this does leave Monkey King a little bit susceptible to nature, where... Uh, Nature is fighting back. Car does manage to get caught out by Tomato here. The Orb of Venom with the slow coming yeah. in from Saberlight. They will be able to find at least this kill, trading it out. Tomato not able to get the last hit, though, but it's not uh, not the end of the world. And the only thing I'm worried about with Ega boys is they are giving up a lot of ground, I feel like. Rises isn't having, you know, the best time. He is third in CS, but... Moon Meander is really, the, I think, the big winner. Coming Ooh, in on the Saberlight, he kicks him away. The dive is not available for another 10 seconds, so Saberlight oh, has Dismar. to just work around with this current situation. But yeah, Dismar is going to get clicked down by Tomato, oh, but immediately it is going to be purged off. And the roll is slow. Well. The roll's available in now, so he could just do the roll to confirm, and there it is. He will mischief it off, but it's not going to change the end result. Dismar is going to be the one to claim the kill. While the boundary runes are going to go, looks like 2-2 two, two even contested. Kara gets kicked up to the high ground to confirm it as well. And that's the annoying part about being a Monkey King when you do have this enchant to worry about. It's just that basic dispel. At the same time, I mean, Moon Meander's a level, two and a half levels above Tano. Like, there we have, all of the Moon Meander stocks are out of control at this point. Moon like, Meander just, stocks. He is just uh... too powerful. And they're going to gonna start to flood heroes down here, but... Without Javelin on wind, I really don't think they can kill him. Dismar in trouble, although Ooh. Moon Meander unfortunately breaks the tree that he was going to be able to connect to if he wanted to get the kill on Dismar. But now with the Windy rotating down for that time being, Bryle has a little bit of extra free time, I guess, in the mid. But Yeah, they have to They have to get the... Uh, I was almost going to call it... Wait, Bryle, wait. They, they, they use the... What? Why do you use Focus Fire on Bryle? I just... I saw the icon show up. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. I, and now Brow's got a DD rune. Yeah, this is this could be a turn for him if he really wants to. If he finds a good remnant, jump in with the follow-up. Like they could actually get the kill if they need it. But 
Rexiga's actually going to TV bottom. They want to kill off Tano here, but I oh, mean, Moon no. Meander's like, I'll kill Tano oh. even without your help. Well, and now, I mean, there's a lot of pressure put in on both side lanes, but Undying are kind of lacking in the department. But as I say that, Tano's going to go down, and Brow is kind of just here for fun. He's not letting himself be known. There he is. They managed yeah. to get him. The DD rune Ooh. is going to be shown on Bryle, so he's going to be able to pump in some damage onto alone. But the power shot is going to be there, he's but out. with no disengage, no remnant, no anything to catch them out due to getting caught by the the shackle shot. He will be able to TP, but this tower is dead in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, Bryle's just been a little bit too fast with his remnants. I think he's been trying to catch them walking into it instead of just getting them off of the astral step slow, but. You make the play with the carts, the carts bring you towers, and Moon Manor is going to continue to snowball. And they're doing what they need to do, right? They're trying to put as much oh, pressure as just oh, mid. I was going to say, I was just up there, but it's not down there. Actually, it's going to be in mid, but they are going to focus fire up oh, Ryle here. He Silence the power they shot. They try to get the kill. The power shot is going to whiff. The slow is going to be there from Bismarck, though, so the re-engage isn't really going to be available. I don't mean, Tano's game is just gone. Like, you die bottom after getting dove to your tier 2. Nobody can TP to help you because you have Alk Edge pressuring the top tower. And then you TP mid and there's a Void Spirit with the DD rune waiting for you. I, it's really a, a disaster game, I think, for him right now. Saber Light. Finds Kara up here. The triangle. I mean, Kara's not escaping. Yeah, it's... You know, I just realized that uh, Bryle, like you're talking about already he's having a really uncontested game like the windy is uh, i say uncontested actually hang on roll oh. it's gonna be there dismark kicks him away Bryle, he doesn't have enough mana and the regen rune actually that would have been amazing for him if they could confirm that he actually has to walk Swiping back to base away. with this oh that hurts and again bottom <sighs> dude i mean what are you gonna do it's just they're not even answering it like what can they do right now moon well, is gonna keep go. running Three at people them, but... they smoked at him but I mean, here's the answer. You got the javelin the up moment. on alone, and they're trying to kill off Moon Meander. He does actually juke the power shot, just barely, but he's got so much HP to got work him. with, but is going to get killed off there by Kara, actually. Level 3 in the impetus. Well, and they're making the plays that they need to play. They're doing what they need to do. At the same time, I'm, Tano's taking one for the team right now. Rises is almost at his Battle Fury, mid. and he can really start making some space. I was going to say, Bryle looks like he was trying to get the jump on Tano. Tano, tired of dying. He's just going to walk away. Deny his boars. Well, and once Tano hits six, you know, he does have the roar to him. It's sad he doesn't have, you know, the gold for the Necro, but it's really just been a really rough laning stage for him. And it's not even his fault. They they last picked a Timber Song. They, your team was like, yeah, you're laning versus that guy. Kara. But Kara. Might be in trouble there, but the silence is going to be there from Dismar. They are going to be able to re-rotate out, but there's oh. the roar out onto the bird, and Phoenix not yet six. He could be in trouble, but Ryle. Oh, no proc there, so he's not going to die off from Windy with the trade. And they, oh, man, I was going to say they what, held Phoenix oh. egg, but he wasn't even six yet anyway. It's so sad, too. It's like, what did you do to this guy, Moon? As soon as Moon shows up, he just gives up all hope for the kill. He just takes his boars, and he goes to the small camp. It's like... He knows what game he's in, and I mean, Rises, he has his Battle Fury, and that's kind of the the one shining hope, I think, along with Alone having a pretty standard game. It's been really quiet, and I think that's kind of what you want if you're Ego Boys. You want to buy as much time as possible for this Alk to start to spiral the game in your favor. Death tax. I mean, it's kind of, it feels like it's kind of already spiraling a little bit. The Battle Fury is coming out. So he is going to spiral like you're like you're saying. Gosh, my mouse is just freaking out today. But now you just see the answer to answer. Moon Meander has to run at them. They need to contest them and hold them over. Well, and we see but, the Spirit Vessel queued up on Phoenix. And I guess that'll be really be the, the breaker, the moment where they try to kill him. But I mean, that's the only answer you got, really. Like, the Alk was first picked as well. Or not first picked, but first, first, first phase. phase. First phase. Yeah. It was first phase, so they had possible answers to it. I mean, the best answer you could really throw out there is just kill the oh, towers before Mato? they kill you. But speaking of killing, Monkey King. Very important kill. Picked off immediately. So Tomato, not happy about this. Actually, and if they can continue to slow down Tomato, that is the one thing they need to be careful of. You never want to be on even ground with the Monkey King. You want to keep this Alk always, like, 
pretty much a 10k net worth ahead, especially going. Oh into the my new gosh, game. alone just oh, finding man. these beautiful plays, keeping the GG branch it is it's next level plays. Not gonna lie, GG branch is the witchery. highest skilled uh, tier one item in the game. Timber saw, hoodwinked, wind ranger. Oh, back in mid. Again with the remnants. To, yeah, they've got remnants available, but they know they can't really kill the Windy. They'll go ahead and get Kara, and they actually jump down to find Dismar below. Meanwhile, in the top lane, though, Undying is going to get slowed here, but... And he can just TP if he knew. Oh, he, he tried to cut the tree. Dismar is actually just... Uh, they're buying so much time with this. Like, Saber Light's not in the lane, so they're not going to Phoenix Egg, but he's going to be rolling out of this one. And no, actually, Undying is going to meet him halfway. Undying is very low, however. They do get the stun, and the Magnetize is going to get thrown out there. That will not yeah. confirm the kill on Dubu. Very it's low, we're though. finally seeing the uh, the two big dogs of the game competing in the bot lane. I, I just watched Moon Meander sit in a large camp just to block it so Ryze couldn't farm it. And really, I think this 15-minute cart, we're going to see pressure put on the mid lane. Uh, Pryo just got focus fired again. <laughs> I mean, he's got the pulse up, though, so he's going to be taking less damage from that one. And you could see that Wendy's actually though, pinging Moon. They want to go for him. He saved it. Saved the focus fire with the DD rune Maelstrom, and maybe Moon would be under a little bit of threat now. But th there's no shot that they kill him without focus fire. This yeah. is kind of a wasted uh, rotation, well, it feels like. DD. I could do it, but, I mean, they, they do want to pour into him. They're rolling in... Earth Spirit, I this though. Is really... I mean, is there concoction on Rises? No, there's nothing here. So, like, they can't yeah. do anything without getting a good power shot. They will get the good stun. But, I mean, it's just... It, it's nothing like you are talking about. They they need the uh, focus well, fire. And now they're getting see. collapsed on. Yeah, Undying, they rotate in. They're mid lane heroes here, and they want to go for a counteractive kill. They know the they can't go for a loan, so they're going to try to go for a Rises here. But Bry only level 9, actually. He's not pumping enough damage out where Windy's... Just killing off this tombstone on the side lane. Yeah, and, and he's fine. Yeah, this egg. I mean, the Phoenix egg's going to be dedicated, but I mean, there's nothing they could do with it. It's just kind of there. Well, they use Roll. pretty much everything in the tank. If they can ignore Moon and kill everyone else, this is a, looking to be a really oh, bad fight. He's going to get power. Well, they've got Roar. Shackled for the time being. The Roar is available, but Dubu is going to be the one focused down here. No tombstone available as it was already destroyed. Kara they need to kite just, moon. I mean, they're kiting. Yeah, it's exactly what they have to do. They have to kite moon, and once they're ready to, they'll turn and kill him like we see here. They'll find a double kill. And they do find the kill on Tano, and Bryle does hit the floor as well, and Saberlight not really able to escape because that's going to be one Kara. chunky impetus. And Kara oh, actually getting four kills. Support Enchantress? Maybe not. <laughs> and I mean, that just kited so long. They used the egg and the tombstone at the same time. As soon as it was done, I think it was Tano that just cleaned up pretty much everything, and he goes down there, but that was a really poorly executed fight from Undying. They kind of just let Ego Boys, that didn't have a lot of gas in the tank originally, with Alone making kind of the early rotation, just kite him out. He's I don't know, careful. all that space is just for Tomato, and he's got his Battle Fury almost. Oh, but... no. This TP from Undying, oh, they do find alone here with some good damage. They, got they him. find him actually. Okay, they rotate everybody back in, and yeah, they gotta they gotta leave from this one. Hitting I mean, alt and you know seeing four TPs off cooldown. They they did literally TP four heroes mid, but <laughs> yeah. But I mean that's that's what they had to do. They need to make space for Tomato, and uh, it's it's proving difficult for him to find that space. And now, I mean, it's kind of. Strange, you kind of have to do this on monkey if you want to have Kara. be on that equal footing with the monkey, but or with the alchemist. The card just does so much damage with Max and Pettis. I mean, that's that's just how it goes. And Brian again, with the miss yeah, he's actually going Yule. Saber Light is going to be in trouble here. The roll goes through and the shackle shot to follow. They will get this kill, and they I was going to say they might be looking to pose near Moon Meander, but they can't get him. It's Timber Saw. They might and be Bryle? able to find Bryle if they um, get a good power shot alone. They find the roll, and Bryle just zips out of there. Back and at the mid. same time, I mean, we're back to that kind of 15-minute juncture. The cards are up, and Moon, roar. he didn't respect him at all. <laughs> they roar immediately, and Rises will find this kill buyback um, from Moon. To they need to kill Rise tower. to make this worth. I oh, don't know. No. Moon Meander, you cannot die well, again. Dismar's they do dead. get the kill on Dismar. Looks Phoenix like Kara's going to be there. Too. No? 
Throwing out some daggers on the car here, but I don't think they're going to be able to find it. And alone is just zipping out of there. They don't they don't want to be a part of this one with Moon Meander buyback. But that was a good well, read. They I mean, know that Moon Meander is the higher amount of damage in this big team fight. And it's but definitely it's just, a good tempo buyback. You got the mid tower, which is which was the goal, I think. That was their main objective. It does just hurt to buy back very early in the game. It's the only unfortunate problem. Well, and the uh, the bright side, I guess, is you do kind of make the gold back when you do get that tower. You know, team-wise, you know, swing the net worth a little bit. And he doesn't really need items, I feel like, on Moon. I guess a Lotus Orb is probably the, the best feeling one for his hero. But I don't know. I feel It feels like Ego Boys are starting to take a, a grip on this game. Just slowing him down here. Oh, and it's Dubu? Dubu actually pops Golem. I can't really get much with this. The roll goes I don't through know with they... Ismar is going to be in trouble here. They will throw out the match. The Dubu is going to be in trouble. The egg goes oh, through, no. but everybody's here. Rises is going to end up stunning himself, but that's a he's Phoenix egg moon. going down, and they actually oh, find Moon, no. and there's the perfect power shot. Shaq will come, though. he's out, but... But he'll be fine. They get out just in time. But they ping Roche. They, they're just I mean, moving it, on these objectives so quickly. They can poise for it. It's easy. Like, nobody's going to contest them. There's no buybacks. You're not going to run into a Roche pit with Sun Wukong because he doesn't even have Wukong's... Oh, well, he has Wukong's man level 2, but he's got no damage. What are you cleaving? A Battle Fury? But they're not done. They don't They don't no, care about this no one. They'll find the kill on Dismar. Kara's trying to find some trade damage. Oh, he stunned himself. Looks like they stun himself, the Alchemist, on the sidelines. Bash from the Roche, though. Slowing down Moon Meander's aggression. They will at least find the slow. From the Chakram from Moon Meander onto Kara, but I mean, they got a poise outside to get this the Roche. Roche. I yeah, mean, it's Eagle it's Boys less can't than venture half. too far away. Oh, they can just, they might just be able to ulti get it. I think they might have to give this up if you're Ego Boys. I mean, the Tombstone is in the pit, and you could see Kara trying to at least kill it off, but unable to get it. The clap from Where is Dismar? and Wind oh, the lifted up, silence taunted everything. He's just dead. That's two amazing kills. The roar Here's goes the through. And Rises, trying to get in there for the kill. They will find the kill out on Dubu with the help of Tano. And now Tomato trying Tomato. to hold off. He's actually taking a lot of burn damage from this urn as the oh, next Necronomicon creeps as well. Dismar comes in. He wants to find something. He wants to kill Tomato. The stun is just not there, though. It goes out onto the, it goes onto the monk or the monkey. It goes out onto the bird instead, and they find this kill on Tano as well. They buy back out on Dismar, though. They don't want this Roche to go. And I think Undying might have done it. I mean, with the buyback from Dismar, Rises has his ulti in 15, but... Bryle. Ooh, this he's is hunted. still a huge risk. Dude, Kara is oh, just dead Kara. again. No. The burn damage. It's all there. And now they're looking for more. They find five Rises seconds. on the sidelines. He has five nice seconds silence. until he can get out of there. The silence is there. The stun follow-up. The burn damage isn't going to be enough. Ooh. He gets the ult out in time, but I think he's, he's still, still dead anyway. And in fact, he is. They find the kill on Rises, and they can take this Roshan now completely uncontested. I mean, I say that. Wind Ranger is still outside. They might try still, but, I mean, this feels I, like a really hard roast to contest it's now. Got, it's just to so at much this point. at it. Oh, so, no. Speaking of throwing, though, Tomato coming in, jumping out, and then we'll find the kill on Tano, and the load goes down. What's going on? Ego Boy's throwing away Again. their lead. As Dismar, he has to roll away, but you got the Phoenix coming He's in there caught. with the zip, the burn damage from Moon Meander. But he cut the tree his own is going to be but... destroyed. Who doesn't? It doesn't even matter. They find this kill. This Roche is uncontested. Sarah's like, I'm not even coming back in, man. I'm, I'm going back downstairs. I, I don't want nothing to do with this Roshan. And that's so disheartening to see. They just got kited for so long. It just felt like they were literally going in one by one by one. And even with the buybacks, they just they just blew oh the horn goodness. too early. They I'm just got in there at all too these fast. abilities, dude. It's insane just how much damage went into this fight. Like 5k overall damage, like six six uh, 1600 overall gold change. Like this is insane. Like that fight went on for so long and literally gave them nothing. I don't think they did they even trade a hero. They got Undying, right? And that they was got it. Got Undying and that was at the way beginning of the fight when things still looked, you know, hopeful, but and oh. that was a roast that they instigated. Speaking of hopeful, oh, Tano no. is going to be used up here. Moon Mander coming in. And they will finish off the Beastmaster. And now it feels like the Tricor is just united. Like, all of these heroes just are supplying so much damage. And you have that secondary catch that you didn't have in the previous game, kind of on Undying, where 
Tomato's gonna find heroes, Brow's gonna find heroes, and Moon's just going to come in, and he's still, like, a, such a strong hero. He still has that huge lead that he gained from the early game, and I mean... I don't know. They've got a 1k gold lead versus an alchemist, Pete. This is yeah, that's... Good. You don't want to, like, be in that scenario. Sure, your Alka's sitting at 16k. Oh, Top no. lane, wind in trouble. They do have a DD available, and the silence is out on Brile. He needs to get a remnant catch if they want to get the confirm. Oh, Moon, he's got the Yules. They want to get it. They find the Yules. The remnant thrown out early, but one right click as well as Moon Meander just existing in the nearby area. They will find this kill. They want to go oh, for Dismar. Tomato actually jumps away, oh, but he rolled preemptively. Into him. Rolls into him, and they will find these two kills, as well as the tower, most likely, as the tombstone is still kicking. And or not. I, I don't know. They I want to go mid. Do now. Yeah, and they're just literally mid to top to bottom to the triangle to farming the enemy triangle. Rises is struggling to find any more space when he needs to get this BKB to show up in fights anymore. And they're just so in sync now. They just always are able to put pressure on the map. Like, they ping Tano and then three heroes oh collapse on goodness. Tano. Yep. And then he has to run trouble. to the high ground. I mean, he throws down the Necronomicon units too, I think, defensively, and they just die instantly. Moon Meander's just unfazed. He has no mana to begin with. Yeah, it feels like every single time an Undying Core pings, then the other two just jump to it, and the map is starting to shrink for Ego Boys, and if they really don't get a good fight going with this Rise 10 second BKP, I think the game is starting to look grim, because Wind also needs a BKP, but there's just no, there's no map. She's gonna be able to get a little bit of farm in the jungle, but it's starting to feel really rough. Ooh. Power shots, though. He's trying to break the trees of the Monkey oh, King he's running. with so much mobility. Doesn't even matter. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Tano, oh, yet no. again. What are you going to do? Picked off by Bryo. Dismar. Dismar actually um, rolling in, too. He's got three seconds on roll, but the Remnant actually goes down instead of across. However, Rises in the back lines are going to be able to find this kill out onto Dubu. The, the egg time. is going to be dedicated, though, with the stun coming out from Tomato. Kara dead in every way, shape, and form. Oh, no. And they will find the kill on Dismar as well. No roll away, and I mean, what are you going to do? The BKB is like you were talking about. They're not up, and they need those to fight. And, I mean, the cores are well, I say okay. That, though, but Rises is up. Yeah, he was just finally able to get it, but that's not the fight they're looking for. And, I mean, they've got an Aegis still. They they don't have Egg any longer, but are you really going to smoke as soon as uh, you have Roar again? Like, I'm trying to figure out what plays they need to make to get back into this game, but I think the time is just there for Undying. They can take this at whatever pace they want because now they're they're going late game versus an Alchemist who isn't farming. And I don't know, Tomato is going to start to eclipse him. Already in levels, we're kind of seeing the heroes catch up and this game just going to continue to kind of waterfall in one direction. I mean, it was, it's, it's honestly my favorite thing to talk about when it comes to the fact that, sure, you have somebody that's top of the net worth because he's physically, that's just what it is. But... All the economy is on one hero, and one hero does not win you a game of Dota. I think there's one hero right now in this patch that can, but it's not an alchemist to be. Well, I mean, they get right the kill here. on Saberlight, but. Nice little pickoff, and they smoked up there. with the roar. Actually, well, if they yeah, get some auto. Shackle. Oh, oh no. Tomato, but the stun is available, but they do find oh, the silence. No. The roar goes through, but the wind is just dead immediately, so alone has to buy back if they want it, but they don't get it. It's another kill the out concoction. on the Tano. Alchemist is on the back lines, though, but he doesn't know if he could fight. Models at half HP, they still have the ring and they still have the Aegis. Meanwhile, on the back lines, he's alone, dead again. Die back again, getting picked off. The silence coming out from he doesn't even have a silence on Bryle. It's just he's just straight dying. Roll goes through, and Ego Voice want nothing to do with this, though. Kara, unable to get that same option, is gonna get picked off by Tomato in the mean, back. Will Kara an absolute rune, but, trooper. I mean, that's the best you could do. Back in the oh, mid, though, mid. rises in, in trouble again. They are gonna stun out Moon Meander here and Bai rises a little bit more time, but the oh, Monkey no. King is here. Tomato comes in. He's going to be clapping on Dismar, and he the will Yules. find the Yules. They the will dodge be able to get well. this kill. The beautiful dodge. Rises trying to do as much as he can. Cleave in with the Battle Fury. A team fight. Question mark. Who knows? Will pop out the BKB. The egg is available. They find the kill on Tomato as Dismar is still the one trading off the beginning though. of that they fight. They got to be careful. Yeah, they don't want to run into this one too hard. They find the jump oh, no. on Tano. I believe this is a dieback. No, it's not a dieback. He's just straight dead. Nice and we're looking at his buyback status here. It's just 30 gold off, actually. So he might be oh, able to come diving. back in in this team fight. But the dive comes in. They want to go for this kill on Rise. It's so bad. The spirit vessel just burning him away. And the egg being dedicated with a remnant jump as well. They will be Car able can't to do get it. the egg. No. 
car with no attack speed available. They do have the egg detonate. Pipe's gonna be used. Wind comes back. But I don't think a, I don't think alone is gonna be able to do this alone. Speaking of she's which, not the hero she is and she's gone. And I think that's just it. I don't think there's a comeback point. You have a buyback available out onto your Alchemist. Oh, Actually, if they get this kill on Brial, that'd be great. Magnetize goes through. Huge damage out onto Brial. He's there got no stones. He, he no has stones no available. Stones. And they find this kill on Brial. They do pick up Brial in the back line. Kara does end up getting it. But likely at the trade of Kara here, as Moon Meander is uh, hell bent to he's find got a Yule Scepter. Yeah, he's, yeah, he was just baiting out the timer on that one. Kara's sitting at full HP, however. Body blocks are there. Meanwhile, in the mid, it looks like it's just a tower fight here as Kara will finally fall. And even without Aegis, even without a lot of the tools that they had before, I mean, there's just no way for them to fight alone. Still working on the BKB, there's just no gold. Like, the team with Alchemist just has no gold. I mean, they still have a little bit of fight. They still have Alchemist. They can still kill somebody oh, with Dasher, shot. but... Oh, they got the shackle Saber with the light. combo, and it looks like they do push out the bird for the time being, but with no egg available, not able to get that defensive run away. And the BKB now picked up for the Monkey King himself, but uh, it's still a very hard game for them to come back from, because like you were talking about, there's no gold on the map. The Alchemist has all the gold, and it's the one. there's no one-man plan. Like, Alk is not your one-man guy who is going to win you a game. It might be a close kind of game, because Alchemist can be one of those heroes that could turn it around, but... This isn't that game. Tomato well, does a now, lot of damage right now. He only has a Battle Fury and BKB with the Sanjin Yash right now. He does insane damage. I guess the Imp Claw might be helpful too, but it's just all of Undying's cores are farmed. And they just haven't been able to start a fight on their own terms. Like, any situation where Tomato's able to get a Wukong's Command on top of the Alchemist, that's just a disaster of a fight. And this all goes kind of back to that... This was like the junction point right here. Where they got the shackle underneath them onto the Monkey King, and he was in a tree, but Tano just wasn't ready to cut it, and it just everybody died after that. I watched Kara hit a tombstone for like two minutes. It's starting to just become that kind of typical monkey game where now you're the the Ultra Core. You're gonna probably wait for next Roche if you really want to be careful, and it's gonna be really hard for Ego Boys to get a good fight in the remainder of the game. Oh Roche. It's fresh early spawns timer. right in front of Tomato. Oh no. Yeah, we'll trade your we'll trade our bot tower for a free rose, Sean. Ooh, the smaller robe as well. And they smoke up. They know exactly. They don't have divine on Alk yet, though. I mean, they might just give it up to get a divine on Alk. And that's your hail mary right there. Yeah, this, this is just a free Roche. Uh, I mean, they can't put pressure onto this tower. They're pinging the top tower for defense. Yeah, they're so afraid of getting forced to use their BKBs, forced to use their items, because they have so few resources right now. They're so starved. And you just see the pings. Yep, they're just going to go immediately for the tower. They've got creeps in mid. They're, the enemy team's pinging to defend the wave because, you know, they're afraid of getting cut, but... I don't know. This is really hard for them to get into this fight because they can't take a fight until this Divine Raper is happening. I mean, just looking at everything here is... Wait, Divine Rapier, what? For the Alk. Oh, I did. I mean, I don't even think that's going to be a good last hurrah. I mean, what's... There's no Basher, so he can't get bashed. You can get just Phoenix Egg, though. It's, it's going to be like... Egg is, or uh, Roar is going to go down. They're going to try and get a Shackle, and then 25% Cleave, Divine Rapier out. That's that's the hope. Unless they're trying to just purely rat it, but, I mean, they're going to start to lose buildings pretty fast. They do have to wait for the top wave, though. They did get the wave in, and his bot tower is taking a lot of damage. They actually forced one TP out back from Bryl. Well, Bryl's got good, decent mobility with the uh, then spider legs, so he'll be able to re-engage with the team eventually, but... Uh... I mean, I guess with that time being bot, like you're talking about, here's the bot, smoke. actually, they are gonna just rotate around. Undy do smoke. I don't. There's no hero to really jump on right now. Just Beastmaster illusions in the mid. I think we're, oh, we're gonna come into a smoke v smoke, yeah. All right, it looks like rises. He's primed and ready. The divine is up. 
No oh, TP, BKB is at the, the roar. nine second mark. The roar goes out on Timber. This is a good first one to get for here. Then comes the Monkey King, and they do know now with the damage oh, no. coming in, but it doesn't even matter. Wind Wukong's. is going to be the first pick. They will find the kill on Saberlight. The buyback immediately. The most likely TP into the outpost. They need to escape as no soon BKB. as possible. The silence is Rises. there. The BKB, he's caught by a remnant. They are going to be able to put him down for the time being. The damage-wise, the flamethrower from Moonbeander. I didn't even see he picked up the shard. He's burning away Rises as much as humanly possible, and there goes the, the divine, divine. here it hits the floor and tomato will be there to take up take up the flame as kara will go down in three right clicks and the ggs will be tossed out as ego boys will lose this game and undying will take a 2-0 in this total game in this two game series and I mean, it's hard to, to say it, but it really goes back to that first Roche. A Roche that they instigated, a Roche that they just got kited around. And I, I spoke about it a little bit in the first game, but Undying is so good at forcing the opponent to want to kill them, to want to bait them in. And then you just see them turn immediately with their spells. It's like Undying feels so weak and so strong at the same time. And Eagle Boys just got the lower end of the stick pretty much every single time. There was no trades alone who had a really good start of the game just started to fall off so fast. Like I'm looking at his KDA and it it was he was two two oh and seven or two one and seven and then he just kept on getting found, kept on getting picked off, and he really didn't have a way to get back in. I just I really hope what I'm seeing in the scoreboard is them just selling or deleting items near the end of the game. But I <laughs> cause like you're looking at this net worth. There's no way. I don't think it was like this at all, right? Like, they had more than this. Right? It's just... It, well, I mean, you see the big dive at the Divine Rapier swap there. The the big X, but... They yeah, just I don't weren't think they able... they sold items. They just had no money. There was yeah. a zero net worth game. The biggest cash influx for the supports was when Kara got an ultra kill bottom. And we kind of saw the, the pure damage coming into effect where he was able to supply that damage to kill Moon Meander. And I think that was the last time they got a really good convincing fight because after that you had the Roche, you had the the poor fights in their jungle, the the them just split pushing, trying to make space. And then as soon as that mid that mid fight, that mid tower went down on their tier threes, it just felt like it was a it was a hole that they had to climb out of. And it feels like every single tick up of that like Alex net worth ticking down was just a massive blow to them. And they just couldn't do it. I mean, win probability. I'm, I'm looking at win probability, and it's kind of funny, but... Oh, I should have looked at that graph. Hang on. Don't say anything about it. Wait, where is the win pro... Oh, there it is. Oh, it was it was in their favor at one point in time, but uh, yeah, that, that skyrocketed pretty quickly. Honestly, at 20 minutes, they were feeling so good. And then you just see the... I feel like it, it just jumped to almost a 50% win rate for Undying as soon as that Roche happened at like 21, 22 minutes. And I don't know. That Roche was just so poorly executed. There, there's no way to, to kind of beat around the bush. It was just a really unfortunate series of events. Well, speaking of, un well, I don't want to say speaking of unfortunate events. What a terrible seg segue. <laughs> anyway. Speaking of events, we're not done with this one quite yet. There's going to be another series right around the corner. I believe I actually have it written up right here. It's going to be four Zoomers versus the Cut. So hype ladies, game. It's going to be a very hype game indeed. Not like this one. I mean, this. not saying this one wasn't a hype game. It had an Alchemist and had a Monkey King. One of my, fav one of my favorite heroes are of those two. Uh, <laughs> but we do have another game up for you right around the corner. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our second series of the day.